everyone, I am Teacher Jamar Badigon from Iligan City National High School Division of Iligan City. Join me today in learning about concept and connect section. A connect section or a connect is a curve formed by a plane passing through a double map circular cone. It can form a circle, an ellipse, a parabola, or a hyperbola. To understand it more, let us watch this video. Conic sections. If a plane intersects a double right circular cone, we get two-dimensional curves of different types. These curves are called conic sections. Depending on the angle made by the plane with the vertical axis of the cone, the plane can cut the cone in three different ways. Ellipse When the plane intersects the double right circular cone in such a way that the angle between the plane and the axis is greater than the vertex angle, we get a closed curve called an ellipse. When the plane is perpendicular to the axis, the ellipse becomes a circle. Thus, a circle is a special type of ellipse. Parabola When the angle made by the plane to the vertical axis is exactly equal to the vertex angle, we get an open curve called a parabola at the intersecting surface of the cone. Hyperbola The plane intersects only one nap of the double right circular cone as long as the angle between the plane and the vertical axis is greater than or equal to the vertex angle. However, if the plane intersects the vertical axis at an angle smaller than the vertex angle, the plane intersects both the naps of the cone to form an open curve called a hyperbola, which has two disjoint curves. Degenerate conics If the plane intersects the double right circular cone at its vertex, the ellipse becomes a point, the parabola becomes a line, and the hyperbola becomes two intersecting lines. The figures so obtained are called degenerate conics. Now we know when we can form the conic sections. The circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, or even the three degenerate conics. Let us have some trivia about conic sections. The knowledge of conic sections can be traced back to the ancient Greece. Menetmus is credited with the discovery of the conic sections around the years. 360 to 350 before Christ was born. It is reported that he used them in his two solutions to the problem of doubling a cube. Menetmus. So, there are four subtopics under connect sections. We have circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. So now, we are done in the introduction of the connect section. Let's proceed to circle. Circle. A circle is the set of all points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point. The fixed point is called the center and the positive constant equal distance is called the radius of the circle. Say for example, we set the origin as our fixed point. 
is we get two points say for example we will have a point here say point A if we will measure this distance from the fixed point going to the point A that distance between the fixed point and the point A should be constant and that distance is called the radius say for example we get another points say here so we will call this as point B this and if we measure this distance between the point B B and the fixed point this distance should be the same with this distance because that is the radius and if we collect all of these points say A, B and B there are infinitely many points. If you collect all of those points, then we can have a circle. Okay? Circle. So now we are done in the topic circle. Let us now proceed to the next topic, which is the parabola. A parabola is the set of points in a plane equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. The fixed point is called focus and the fixed line is called the, the directrix of the parabola. Say for example, we set this circle as our fixed point. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Fixed point. So for example, we have this as our fixed point. Okay, and we will have this line as our fixed line. Okay, say so for example, we have this point here. We measure this point going to the fixed point. That distance should be the same with the distance, the surface distance from this point going to this line. And if we collect all of those points, we can have a parabola. By the way, parabola can be opening up or opening down, or it can be opening to the left. Or opening to the right but unfortunately only opening up or down can be considered as a function parabola opening to the left or right is just a mere relation because if we will be using the the vertical line test then it will cross your graph more than once parabola So now we are done with the topic parabola. We will now proceed to the next topic which is the ellipse. An ellipse is a set of points in a plane. The sum of those distances from two fixed points is a constant. The fixed points are called the foci of the ellipse. We have your focus 1 and focus 2. So for example, we set the point negative 2, 0 as our focus 1, fixed point 1, and the focus 2 at the point positive 2, 0. Let's say, for example, we have one point of your ellipse somewhere here. The distance from the first focus or the focus 1 going to that point plus the distance between the the point going to the second focus should be constant. What I mean constant it means if we will have another point A, for example here, we will get this distance plus this distance should be the same in the sum of the distance from this point going to the blue fossil. And that is ellipse. And obviously, ellipse 
is not a function. So now we are done in the topic limits. Lastly, we will be discussing about hyperbola. A hyperbola is the set of points in a plane. The absolute value of the difference of the distances from two fixed points is a constant. Say for example, we have two fixed points here and here, and we will get one point this point. The distance from this point going to this fixed point minus the distance from this point going to the second fixed point you get the absolute value of the difference then it is constant okay and that is hyperbola so watch for my next video so that we will discuss more and give examples of the circle parabola ellipse and hyperbola thank you